turning now to the latest out of Hartford. Hearts are aching in the capital city as the community honors Officer Bobby Garten. The Hartford police officer was killed in the line of duty earlier this week. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is live at Hartford Police Headquarters where the community has been coming together. Aya. Aaron and Stephanie, the memorial outside of the Hartford Police Department continues to grow. Take a look here. You could see a number of people out here. They have been placing flowers, balloons, honoring Officer Bobby Garton, who was known for his smile. Heart wrenching. Heart wrenching. Hearts are heavy as the community comes together to honor Officer Bobby Garton. Young man, whole life ahead of him. Just gone. The Vrins came from South Windsor to place flowers at the memorial outside of the Hartford Police Department. We um, we're, have a police officer in our family, and just the thought of it is so sad. Officer Bobby Garton was killed Wednesday night after 18-year-old Richard Barrington fled from a traffic stop, ran two red lights, and slammed into the cruiser, which was responding to a different call. Everybody just has the best things to say about him. And and it's just, it's, it's tragic. It's senseless is what it is. You know, it didn't need to happen for, there's no reason for it. Sabina is a retired Hartford police detective and worked with the fallen officer's father. It's unbearable. I can't even imagine what, what the family's going through. When I first started, Bobby Sr. was an officer a detective here and he was one of the best people. Officer Bobby Garton Jr. was with the Hartford Police Department for eight years. He was always with a smile. Um, just always happy to, to be here to work. It was his passion. Linda Loriano's husband is a Hartford police captain who was working the night of the tragedy. These guys are out here every day, you know, protecting and serving so selflessly, um, giving, you know, their lives, having a family also at home, not knowing if they're going to come home or not. She hopes people continue coming together and showing support for the law enforcement community. The men and women you know, serving uh, our communities. Um, they want to see that support. It's important. And we're told Officer Brian Kearney, who was also in that crash, is doing okay at St. Francis Hospital. Now the investigation into the crash is in the hands of Connecticut State Police. Reporting live in Hartford, Agnan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.